Evening, Volodya. I guess we can't believe the newspapers, huh? You look great, Volodya. <coughs> you want to talk to me about something? I want to sell my father's estate. Sell it now? You get nothing for it. There's a war on. I think you've lost your mind. First you betrayed Vera, and now you want to betray your father's memory. What do you need the money for? Dresses? Jewelry? <coughs> she needs a lawyer. Trust me, Peter Alexeyevich. I wouldn't dare ask you if I had any other option. Please stop fidgeting, my friend. I assure you we will get these stupid charges dismissed. I would prefer if you took the money and we could sign the contract. Contract? Well, if it's that important to you, let's sign a contract. About one franc. I won't accept any more than that. I've admired Matahari for many years. She's a brilliant actress and a gorgeous woman. And these idiots... These gentlemen here are telling me that the fabulous Mata Hari is a spy. It's a ridiculous lie. <laughs> Maitre Clune, I'm your attorney. Margaret Zeller. Monsieur Le Dieu, Monsieur Martin. Delighted to finally meet you in person, madame. Do you think this is a whorehouse? You'll stay away from the prison. It's all right, Martin. Let Madame enjoy the attention. She won't have much from here on. You're as kind as ever, Captain. Here, please. Well, now? Shall we begin? Madame Margaret, Zella is accused of espionage for Germany. Oh, my goodness. That's a serious accusation. Do you have any proof of that? I mean, no disrespect, but this supports her claim that you were blackmailing her, Captain. Which means any information you got from her was given under duress. And furthermore, I feel compelled to remind you, blackmail is against the law. So I don't think the court will look kindly on your actions. It's wartime, Matra. And all's fair in war. <laughs> but while I agree that you need to be ruthless with the enemy, this woman is not a soldier. Blackmail can get a confession out of a saint. It's not a legal tool for an investigation, especially when it's used 
against such a fragile creature. I strongly advise you not to sign anything because I strongly suspect they do not have any substantial evidence against you. Thank you, Maître. That's what I thought. Well, let's leave this decision to the court. In the meantime, I'm sure that Monsieur Maslov and Madame Zola would appreciate a few minutes on their own. This will be over soon, and I hope to see you back on the stage. Try to come as soon as possible. It's so hard here. I can't anymore. I need character witnesses who are ready to testify for her. She knows many important people. Some of them might be willing to help out. Of course, Mater. I will do whatever you tell me to do. We'll get her out. Believe me. I do. I am confident that the accusations will be dropped. No further comment. No comment. How are you going to defend that? Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Sir, I just want a statement. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. My shoulder doesn't hurt me anymore. You wanted to see the sky. It's right above you. And here are the documents that you promised to sign. I will not sign anything. Not until I see Vladimir. We should shoot this whore without a trial. Calm down, Lieutenant. How do I know you are not trying to trick us again? You've had me locked up here for a month without a trial. You obviously called the shots there. All right, you'll see Captain Maslow. Captain Ledoux is waiting for you, Monsieur Maslow. It's a standard non-disclosure clause. Non-disclosure of what? That you won't repeat anything you see or hear in the prison. It's just a formality. To protect the prisoners. Doesn't seem like a formality. Huh. I guess things are different in Russia. This is French bureaucracy. Mateen. You idiot! How dare you mistreat the prisoner? Can't you see who you are dealing with? I apologize for the guard, madame. Monsieur Maslow. You have one hour. Close the door. How are they? 
they treating you? Hmm? It's awful here. I deserve this. Don't say that. Please. Don't. You don't realize who I am. What I've done. What are you talking about? I've been working for the German intelligence for many years. I don't believe it. And yet it's true. But even that isn't the worst of it. What happened to you? It's partly my fault. Are you saying Ledoux was right? You used the maps I was supposed to take to headquarters? I did. We photographed them. Mm. I'm so sorry. This is it, Mateen. Write it all down. The names. Hurry. Hurry. I slept with men for money. And to get information from my German friends. What friends? The friends who tried to hang you from the ceiling fan in the hotel? Those friends? I just want to... Leave it all behind. And start having a normal life at last. I had to tell you. You can leave me now. I understand. I'm not going anywhere until you'll tell me everything. How sweet. We got her. Not yet. Now she will believe me, not him. This will work. May we enter, madame? To what do I owe the pleasure? How is it going with your lawyer, Met Clunet? It has been a long time since he was here. I assume you were preventing him from seeing me? No, it's possible for him to see you anytime. Perhaps he has more important clients. We have sort of a corporate dispute with the Bosch. Who owns the patent on Matahari? Are you here to dazzle me with your sense of humor, gentlemen? Because I'm not amused. We're not trying to amuse you. I'm afraid Matt Clunet is not the best attorney for your case. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. And I think we'll see his best feature is that it's not costing a penny for your Russian friend. But now Maslov has all the money he needs. Yet Semikhin recently wrote him a large check. Nice, considering Maslov called off the marriage to his daughter. Well, maybe it's back on. Monsieur Maslov has to think about his own future now. Perhaps that is why he told us everything about you being a German spy. He would never betray me. Never. He loves me, and I love him. How dare you? Huh? He wrote everything down. Everything he knew about your crimes.
This is not his handwriting. Monsieur Maslov does not write so well in French. This is why he dictated this statement to my team. Just look there at the signature. I don't believe Margaret confessed. This has to be a fraud. No, it's quite genuine. It's signed, dated, all in proper form. She incriminated herself. How did you do it? We put her on the rack, tore out her nails, knocked out all her teeth. I want to see her. <laughs> Good luck with that. I doubt she will see you, though. She doesn't want to see anyone these days. What about Maslov? Does he know about this? Maslov? Her dear Maslov is the prime witness against her. He sold her out completely. You wanted to see me? Sit down. I don't have much time. It won't take long. She's pleading guilty. She signed a complete confession. Why? You ask me why? I'll ask you why they get letters from generals, former president, ministers. What good are they? It's all useless now. Thanks to you, they showed her your statements. It was very informative. You destroyed her. What are you talking about? The one you gave Ledoux. Three pages with your signature on each of them. Did you sign any papers that they could have possibly filled in later? Yes. When is the trial? It starts tomorrow. Let me talk to her. Once she knows the truth, she will change her mind. No, she refuses to see anybody. I've been trying. Is there anything I can do? Not a thing. If you try to recant, they will simply charge you with perjury. And since they have your statement against her, if you even show up at the trial, it could go worse for her. Order, please. The defense may present the case now. Matter Clunet. 
Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen, people of France, I'm addressing you today on behalf of a woman who is famous, but also helpless and frightened. She is recovering from a recent wound inflicted by German spies while she was working as an agent for France. But despite that, Despite of her service and her patriotism, a case has been falsified against her. The prosecutors blackmailed her into testifying against herself, and she relented just to end her suffering. She suffers because she feels abandoned by everyone. But I am here to say you're not abandoned. The truth about Vladimir is that he... He had nothing to do with it. I did it all myself. Margaret, don't! Everything in my confession was true. I don't believe this. Order! Matahari would never do Order. these things. Was it really you, Matahari? Order! Dance for us, madam. Order! Order! Does this mean you plead guilty? Yes, Your Honor. I believe she just threw away her last chance to survive. Judge? What is the verdict? Let's get a coffee. Mater. Death. Firing squad. Captain Lado tricked me into signing fake testimony. Then he used it to trick Margaret Zell into incriminating herself. But her testimony is true. She is not a spy. May I come in, sir? Captain Georges Ladou, reporting as ordered, sir. Do you know the reason I sent for you? Not entirely, sir. I assume it is regarding the court trial of Margaret Gertrude Zella, or as she calls herself, Matahari. The identification number of Madame Matahari for German intelligence is Agent H21. Where does this information come from? Her own remorseful confession. Lying bastard, calm down. Monsieur Maslov here claims that you deceived him. He says you tricked him into signing a non-disclosure document, and then later his fake testimony against Matahari appeared on those pages. This is true, absolutely. That's what I did. I agreed to help you. Don't make me regret it, ex-Captain Maslov. Explain yourself, Captain. <coughs> we did not have clear evidence to convict Matahari. As Agent H-21, we did trick her into confessing. 
But the crimes she confessed to were then proven independently. If Monsieur General wishes it, I will now destroy the papers that Monsieur Mazloff has signed. Yes, I would like that, Captain. It doesn't matter. Margaret has been sentenced to death. Let's protect the honor of a Russian officer. I understand. She was a spy. There's nothing we can do about it. The do, you're a scoundrel. I challenge you to a duel. Your man's crazy. Are you out of your damn mind, idiot? What duel? Monsieur Maslov, I'm an officer of the French army, which is now at war. It would be preposterous to fight under the circumstances. It's inappropriate. You are not only a scoundrel, but a coward, too. Only my respect for you, General, keeps me from... Get out. You've disgraced yourself. Spare the Russian army, at least. I hope he won't do anything stupid. I deserve to die. But please spare my beloved Vladimir. Please don't let them blame him. I know he must hate me. Oh, he wouldn't have testified. I deserve his hate. But if there's anything you could grant me before I die, it would be to know that he forgives me. Please. I must have gone mad to be helping you with this, Vladimir. Thank you, Mater. Just this time, and I will never bother you again. Dominique Charbot, a one-legged cemetery keeper. <coughs> he lost it in the war. Probably. We were out of touch for a while. He owes me a favor. I helped his family once. How exactly can a one-legged soldier be of any help? He can't. Unless he happens to be the grave digger for the Vincennes Cemetery. Dominique Charbot, right? Monsieur Charbot? Major Clunan sent me. <coughs> Maître said you fought in the war for us. Here in France. I am Russian. We have our issues with Germans, too. <coughs> I fought, too. I lost my leg during the Battle of the Somme. I see the war crippled you as well. Will you help me? I will. I don't want your money, brother, but I'm not the only one involved. Yes. As Clunet said. <coughs> now listen. First you need to get here. This is where the nuns' rooms are. Approach to the left of the North Tower. The guards make their rounds in eight minutes. So once they pass, you have that long to get inside before they return. Get to the Northwest Tower. I'll throw you a rope to climb up. Be fast, but also careful and quiet. If the guards hear you and look up, they will see you.
At the top, you will see another guard. You have to knock him out. If the nuns see you, don't panic. They don't know everyone by sight. Don't talk to them. Just walk by, calmly. I'll try to remove the guards in the corridor and meet you by the cells. Holy hell, what's with the massacre? They're alive. Anyway, you didn't tell me they'd be here. Down the corridor. Hurry before all the guards get here. Stop. Go back. It's here. Margaret. Margaret, it's me. No, no, what are you doing? No, no! Hey, what? What are you doing? No! <laughs> that is very impressive, Monsieur Maslow. You put four guards in the infirmary. You gave me a good reason to shoot you. Nobody would blame me. Or you'd prefer to get arrested for attempting a prison break? I had no choice, brother. I will kill you. I was simply being a patriot. I cannot help spies and a veteran. Which war did you fight? You trash. You want to defend your neighborhood whorehouse. Calm down, Mateen. Calm down. Monsieur Chabot, you've done your civic duty. Now you may go back to your graveyard. I will kill you, Georges Ledoux. I promise to. And I will! <laughs> Dream? Kind of. You were talking in your sleep. Calling for someone in Vladimir. My fiance. But I've lost his love. And I don't deserve it. Your Excellency, we received a call from headquarters. They're asking whether or not we're going to request extradition for Maslov. He's accused Maslov of... Maslov resigned. He is not part of the army anymore, so he is no longer our concern. They should contact the embassy. It's mayhem there nowadays. That is their problem.
The firing squad is in place. We'll go through the castle. It'll be much faster. Right this way. my child? I am, Father. You have sinned, my child. I know. Do you repent? Not as much as I regret. Regret living a life without love. Although I thought I have plenty of it, but I was wrong. I met the right person. Too late. Bow your head. I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pride is a deadly sin, my child. Is it a sin to face death with dignity? No chance. Your Russian lover incapacitated half the guards breaking in here. A noble chevalier fighting to free his princess. What are you talking about? He testified. Did you really believe that he would testify against you? Thank you. Thank you for giving me my love back. Ready. Aim.
Oh, may I help you? A letter from Paris for Monsieur Ledoux. Oh, all right, give it to me. I was told to deliver it personally. Oh, come on in, have a seat. I'm Georges Ledoux. The letter, please. Here you go, monsieur. <sighs> what the hell? I told you I'd kill you. <laughs> 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 